My name is Glenn, this is Honor right here. We were born and raised in the 161st Street, Yankee Stadium in the South Bronx in my entire life. And I've been supporting Trump since 2016. The day he got elected in 2016, I remember the high school we went to, Cape NYC College Prep, we did not have school that day. The teachers were crying and they were spreading misinformation that the news was also spreading as well. Now, ever since then, the country has been more polarized. The reason why we're here is not because you're conservative, it's not because you're liberal, it's because we care about the unity of the country. And I believe the unity of the country is through Trump, through nationalism, and putting having America first policy. Yeah, I can't lie, this guy woke me up right here, man. You know, I was very lost by our teachers and stuff like that, but, you know, this guy, he's an amazing friend, an amazing brother. Yeah, we both we went to high school together, we knew each other since fifth grade, we played football together and everything. We're currently college students right now. Um, probably the one of the youngest people around, but, right? And all those protesters over there that are saying Trump is a Nazi, that Trump hates your kind, well, guess what? We're minorities. I'm first generation. He's first generation. I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican. He's Puerto Rican. So they're going to look at us as like, oh, what are you doing? But guess what? Trump does care about black people. Trump does care about Hispanic people. He's done way more for Hispanic and black people than all these other presidents. And it's, look at the statistics. Look at the statistics. It doesn't matter what, what party you vote for. It matters about what the person's doing. God bless you guys. God bless you. My name's Jamina Thailand. I'm from Country Club Bronx. New York. I live in Astoria, Queens now, but I'm so proud that Trump finally made it here because we need Donald Trump as president in this country. With everything that's going on, to bring up patriotism again, to bring up the safety in the streets, to cut all this welfare, to stop the immigration, and to lift up the spirits. And I'm so proud that all the minorities are here. God bless Donald Trump. BX shit over here. We got rats out here, fires out here, Donald Trump's out here. Come on, you're gonna now I'm not from the Bronx, I'm from the Queens, you heard? Queens Finals. <laughs> I'm from Hunts Point. I was up there for two years. I'm fought for Trump because the economy, inflation, crime, wars everywhere. Biden's been a disaster for, for four years. Disaster. I mean, you need Trump back here. Okay, I'm Olivia. I'm Ella. And we're from Country Club, and we're here to support Mr. Trump because he's the best. Yeah. And it's our first year we could have left. We're 19, yes. so this we're is going to vote. Yes. And every vote counts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My name is Stacy LeBron. I currently live in the Bronx next section of the Bronx. choice is imperative now more than ever. The dream of home ownership is dying for New Yorkers and people who desperately need services are being outfazed by people who are coming to this country and although we may want to help, the bottom line is we can't help everyone. And there are people in these areas that are in ships who need the most help, the most services, and they have to get in the back of the line for people who just got here who may not even have an intention of staying. Don't cheat the children, don't cheat the homeowners, and don't cheat the Americans out of the American dream. And para all mi gente boricua, I'm Puerto Rican and I'm here for Trump. Do you know why? Because I'm going to discredit that myth about the paper towels that the press told him to throw. Donald Trump gave aid for Puerto Rico. Y la bruja de Puerto Rico went and put all of that food in lock houses. It took an earthquake. It took an earthquake to discover that food. They hit thousands of bottles of water and let our people die of thirst. And more importantly, they talk about Puerto Ricans and Trump. Democrats left our people to rot in trailers while what they watched Hamilton. So if you care about Puerto Rico, you should vote for Trump. I mean, I'm Anthony Brito, born and raised in Grand Concourse, and I proudly support Donald Trump. Justin McLean, long one ever. Okay. Listen to our candidate for Trump. Charlie Roska, and I'm here to support our president, Donald Trump. Well, I'm not part of the Bronx. I'm from the other part of the Bronx called Yonkers, and I'm here to support the next president of the United States of America. But more importantly, I'm here to support the Constitution and to basically let people know that enough is enough. We won't stand 
for the corruption that has taken over a certain party, but it permeates, it permeates across the political spectrum. And unless the people stand up and vote, we won't have a country, and we won't have a constitution, and we, our kids will basically blame us for the rest of our lives. Hey, my name is Kate. I'm from Westchester, and I want to support Trump, President Trump, in keeping America great again. And that's why he's got my full support. Go Trump! Go Yay! Trump, baby! Go Trump! My name is Marisa Reyes. I'm from the Heights in the Bronx, and I'm here because I like Donald Trump. Mike Del Valley, Helen Bay. I'm here to support. Number 45, Donald Trump. Lower taxes, control on immigration, jobs, our standing in the world, everything. We can bring it back. It goes but but his but I'm his the kicker. We're looking for a reaction. Has anybody attacked you? You want to know why? Because we love this country, and we're not all about that life. If I went to a Biden rally rocking a, a red cap, Trump, I would get attacked. You want me to show you videos of that? There's videos all over the internet where every time they come after us. So my name's Christina. I was born and raised in the Bronx. I'm a native New Yorker. I love every human being as they are. I don't care about anything about the outside or anything. What the far left is doing, they're creating division, hatred, misery, sadness, and fear, where we should be spreading love, happiness, and harmony, like what's going on right now. We have every culture, every nationality, everyone who loves America is showing up here right now. Me and my mother, we took the subway here. We walked the streets of the Bronx because we're native New Yorkers. My mo mother's running for Congress against AOC in District 14 where we were born and raised, and we're for the people. We're for the common American. We love America. We love this country. They don't love this country. Her name. My mother's name is Tina Forte Reconda, District 14. Get the AOC out and fire her. She cares about going to Met Gala's while her district is falling apart. Joey from Fordham Road in the Bronx. Why do we need Trump here? He's the best president of all time. And he helped out the community a lot. Besides the unbiased, besides the biased media speaking lies about us. Yeah, where, where, where's the racism at? Uh, can you show me? Where's the white supremacists at? I don't know. Can you see them anywhere? What? Can you see them anywhere? No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Moto Moto. That's a name so nice, you gotta say it twice. I'm the Spanish Trump supporter. I'm from Bushwick, New York. I voted for Trump two times. And let me tell you that I could, if I could vote him for a third term, I would vote for him. Ladies and gentlemen, lowest unemployment rate for Asians, for females, for black people. Hispanics became the number one homeowner. Bro, don't you dare get into my interview. Stop doing this. Hispanics became the number one homeowner under Trump. And let me tell you that that's Theo. That's my uncle. And I love that man. I only punch people in the face for three people. That's Jesus, Donald Trump, and Gucci, man. And take that to the bank. My name is Carmen Melendez. I'm from Dominican Republic. I live in the Bronx, New York, 1244 Edison Avenue. And I'm here because I like Donald Trump. And I want to save my country. My name is Vinnie Hogan. I'm from 167, right down the block. I'm here just to show my face and support the community. My name is Andre Drake, and I'm the CEO of Outside Club. And that's an advocate. And I'm here, I'm born and raised in the Bronx, and I'm here because it's time to right a wrong. All of the issues going on with Trump are civil rights violations, and I'm a civil rights activist. That's my whole beat. First Amendment issues, gag orders, all of that stuff is unbelievable. State agencies have immunity, judges have immunity. How can you have an ex-president going through this? So people need to wake up. This country is falling. The country is definitely falling down. And I voted Democrat thinking all my life that the Democratic way was to go. But I learned, I studied politics, and I learned that
that the Republicans are more in alignment with what I'm trying to do for me, my people, and my family. You know, so I could go on and on, but you better wake up, America, and you better support Trump. It's time to write a wrong. Alan Rosado, I'm from Van Cortland. Vote for Trump, y'all. People are now waking up. They're finally realizing he is the real deal. Make America great again. There you go. <laughs> better during four years of him. No crisis, no economic crisis, no financial crisis. The bank rates went 9% and was 1.4 during the Trump era. No war. The most important, no war. Peace for everybody. Where are you originally from? Albania. Hi, my name is Tanya. I'm from the Bronx High Bridge and I'm voting for Trump because he is the best. Felicia Sementelli from Pelham Bay in the Bronx. I'm here for President Trump, the greatest president we ever had in our lifetime. And I truly mean that. So he's Trump 24. I'm Yoel Fold from Sedgwick Avenue, here to help Donald Trump make America great again. I'm from the Bronx, I'm from the Grand Concord area, and I'm here to support Donald Trump. May God bless America. Go ahead. Go ahead. Leo Kilbrock. Rock's neck. Rock's neck. We're here to experience a political rally, and in the Bronx, it's unbelievable. We want to see the truth. We want to see the numbers. We want to see how the media couches this rally. We want them to see it for ourselves. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. My name's Christian, I'm from the North Bronx, and uh, I'm here just because I support Trump. I mean, I have a lot of political opinions, I don't typically go too in-depth with them, but I do want to show out, I want to see what he has to say. I heard Ruben Diaz went to the stage, I wish I was there to see what he had to say. But uh, yeah, just the spread of knowledge, the spread of information, just trying to understand what it is that everybody thinks and to get multiple perspectives, because obviously we have everybody here that supports Trump, but you also get the perspective of the blue that come out that are very frustrated, so you get to see both sides and you get to understand the anger in both sides, but it doesn't change my personal opinion on it. I personally will support Trump and I will vote for Trump this election. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm from the Upper West Side. Uh, the people in my building are literally uh, red diaper babies, for those who don't know. Children of members of the Communist Party, so you can get what their politics is. Okay, so I'm a lone uh, conservative in my building, but I'm a member of, I'm on the board of directors of the West Side Republican Club. There is such a thing, and there are conservatives on the West Side. You just have to look hard. Look for the people who look upright, standing more upright than I'm standing right now, and otherwise clean cut and handsome. That's how you can tell. I'm here to make America great again, because it seems like we got a lot of stupid people around. And we want America to be great again. We're making changes. USA! 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 Hey there, my name is Maria. I am Maria Lynn from Switch to USA, and I'm from Whitestone, Queens. And I'm here at the Trump rally. It looks like there might be close to 10,000 people here. I've never, ever seen anything so beautiful in New York State. MAGA. 
Saverio Marsicano, Helen Parkway. Vote for Donald Trump to support Donald Trump. Big support. Big support for Trump. Yes.
good. He's still talking. He's good. He talks a lot of important oh, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know how to do want to see things get better. How many people do you think There's a lot of people, yeah. I would say up, 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 upward of 5,000, maybe more. Yeah, definitely more. There's a lot of people here. Good turnout. Great. 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 We're going to make America great again. It was Wonderful. awesome. You didn't awesome. get in? No, I didn't want to. Oh, you should have. <laughs> Too crowded. Oh. No, they didn't, let, they didn't let as many people, they should have let more yeah. people in. They were purposely right. not letting people in. Thanks. Yeah. Have a good night. Did you guys get in? How was it? Amazing. It was good. How was it? It was amazing. great. It was great. Amazing. <laughs> fucking amazing. Did you get in? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
know, when you get home. Did you get in? Yeah. How was it? Oh, <laughs> the best. Get in. Yeah. How was it? It was amazing. Soup, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Out of 10, 20. He was brilliant. Totally brilliant. Unbelievable. Did you get in? How was it? Good. Get in. Yes. How was it? It was fantastic. South Bronx made history. Okay, no. Did you get in? Yes. How was it? Super. It was marvelous. Great people, all like-minded. Did you guys get in? Yeah. How was it? It was awesome. great. Great. Okay. Great. Did you get in? Huh? Did you get in? Yeah. We got an autograph, bro. We talked yeah, to him. Yeah, we were front row. Awesome. <laughs> Did you get in? How was it? It was amazing. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Did you guys get in? Yeah, we got yeah. How was it? Oh, it's been great. fantastic. Yeah. Did you get in? How was it? It was amazing. Did you guys get in? Sure. How was it? Outstanding. Great. Big Papa was on fire. Thanks, man. Have a go. How was it? Did you get in? How was it? Great. Could, couldn't get you better. Couldn't be better. Did you get in? How was it? It was amazing. VIP, baby. <laughs> Did you get in? How was it? Fabulous. It was delighted. I went, I went to Wild Wood and New Jersey. This one stopped it. It was beautiful. Everybody seemed to be an energy there. Very nice, very positive. I love it. How was it? It was great, and fuck Joe Biden, man. Fuck that ass. <laughs> How was it? It was great, man. This is expected. Better than expected. How was it? Great. Awesome. Awesome. Great. 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 How many people do you think? I Thousands. Think, yeah. See you guys. Definitely.